you plant a seed in the ground, you don't go back every day. You cover it up, you know, you, you're done with it. You don't go back every day and dig it up and see if you got some roots. No. Nope. So you don't dig it. You don't go and dig it back up again every time. That's the same thing with prayer. You put it in God's hand. He has it. It now belongs to him. Right. You got to trust that. Yes. You got to believe that it's in his hands. And whatever needs to come out of it will come out of it. Whatever it needs to die and go down and dig roots to make you stronger, it's going to happen. That's right. In God's hand. Not in our time. Not in our own hands. But in the hands of the Almighty. Yes. You got to believe that. Yes. That's amazing that you brought up a seed, though. Don't, don't take a seat. That, that seed is, is something. <laughs> and I love it. Mm -hmm. You know, and what you're doing, you're watering your seeds out. Mm -hmm. This show, you're watering your seeds. Yeah. That you're going through what you're going through, your suffering, your trial, your tribulation, your aches and your pains. Mm -hmm. You're still going, that means you're watering your seeds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that's what we need to be doing to them. Watering them, nursing, not digging them up, not rehashing it, nurturing it. Lord, give them some sunshine. My like girl used to say, let it alone. Let it alone. You know, it's in there. And sometimes we like to do that. We done plant, plant it, we dig it back up. It ain't growing. Maybe I need to plant it somewhere else. Let it go. Add some more water. We add some more water. No. Leave it be. Leave it be. Let it alone. Leave it be. Let it alone. Yes. God is the one who watered the seed. He let sprout sprout up. Yeah. So now you're reaching other people because the seven sprout uh, lamp. Is now the buds is bud, and then once that bud, then everybody else can reap benefits. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's going Thank on. you, God. Thank and you. And so we we have a scripture to share. Um, Chronicles. What is it? Second Mr. Chronicles. Job has it. Second Chronicles. Uh, seven. seven fourteen. Amen. Yes. Amen. And it, it says, "If what? If my people, if my people call by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked ways, yes. and seek my face, and you shall hear from heaven." Yes. And, and God will heal the land. Heal the land. Heal the land. And Lord knows we need a healing. We do. Yes, we do. He do, she do. Everybody that falls in that category that <laughs> he or she needs a healing. The way the world is right now, the way the earth is, how we turn on each other, how we can't work together, the saints falling out. It's one thing when the world fall out. It's one thing when they don't want to get along with each other. It's one thing when they don't want to come together. But when the body of Christ we all came from the same, the same God. We are all in the same place, the same worship with the same God, but we can't come together. Yes. We, we can't. We, we. That's an issue. Yes. That's, that's an issue. Yes. That, that we, we can't be together as a body of Christ. And that's why we must pray and believe. Turn, turn, seek his face. Yes. That's a big thing. Turn. So we want God. Oh, God, help me, help me. But then we still want to do the yeah, same turn. foolishness that we've been doing. Amen. And like we said earlier, uh, we were all set because we've been talking the whole time. Even when we're on commercial, we still talk. We still here yeah. talking. So we talk, yes. you know, when you turn from your wicked ways, turn. I don't mean you make a 3 six, but people like to turn all the way around. That means you got right back in the same mess you left if you make a complete 360 turn, but you can make a 180 to a new direction yes, so that right. you can march forward. So when we Thank turn from our way, seek his face, he said he would heal the land. His word is not going to come back void. Mm -hmm. It's up to us to do the work. We have to do what he said for us to do. As believers, as the body of Christ, we must do exactly what he said in, in Chronicles, in 2 Chronicles. The second Chronicles. Second, we must do exactly what he said, 7 14. And he will heal it. I posted it out on my page. It's just been in my spirit lately. And it's so funny that it even came up in here now because this is what I listened to. Deborah Barnes has a version that says, If my people, that's the name of the song, and I've listened to it at least three times going to work this week. Wow. And it just, wow. it's just in my spirit because that's what I know. When people say the world's so bad, it's going to hell in the hand, that's blah, blah, blah. You can control that. You, yes. have, a, you have a part to do with that. Yes, and then you start spreading the words to other people, and they can help you can control that's that right. too. And when that wickedness, I'm glad, as you were talking, it brought up some more because you were saying something about the newness of life. And, and when that wickedness tries to come back, because yes, we're going to make that 380, that, that 180, not that 360. We are going to make that 180, yes. and, and we are facing yes. the direction and walking in the will of God. Mm -hmm. However, the enemy is still present because yes. the enemy still That's wants right. to still kill and destroy. But job. the enemy can yeah. only use the things of our past mm -hmm. to tempt us. So I what we back. what we have to do is we have to, like you said, keep pressing. And how we keep pressing is we pray. We learned in Bible study. Let me go back and be a Connie Mae, honey. We learned in Bible study that you can add the Lord's Prayer in your day-to-day -day prayer. And the part that says... And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is so huge. We can add that into.
into our daily prayer because we do not want to go back. We do not want to go back into that wickedness. We want to stay forward. Yes, we got to stay moving forward in the direction that God wants us to um, to move in on that straight and narrow road. And, and it gets tough. Because we might be in this brokenness now and then when God heals us and, and we get the glory and we have the mercy and we're living and we're walking and continuing to uh, walk in this wonderful light and the sun is shining and the birds are chirping. <laughs> One day we're going to stumble on a rock and we're going to fall right back into some more brokenness. However, it's still just for a season. We still got to recap all those same things that we did before. We got to admit to it and we got to face it That's right. and deal with it so that we can be made whole. That's right. Yes. That's so, right. Yeah. The, 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 the enemy's job is to destroy. It's yes. to destroy. And he on his job. More so than some Christians. Than some of us are on our job. He is on his job. He is doing his best to divide us. And like Brother Joe said earlier, if we're divided, what can we do together? What can we do for, for the kingdom if everybody's all right. divided? You know, what, what can you do? How can you do a mighty work in God when that, this denomination over here, y'all are having too many services, y'all ain't having enough services, y'all have been, you know, we can But we are one, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be one body of Christ. One Lord, one faith. That's what we are supposed to be. One baptism, that's what we're supposed to be. And that's what we should be striving to do, but the enemy is so busy keeping us divided. How is he keeping us divided? He's keeping us divided in our feelings. Yeah, you had to show about your feelings and into your feelings. But he's keeping us divided because we're not feelings and we have all with our sisters and brothers in Christ. God don't want that. God wants us to be together. God wants us to come together. He, he don't want us to be divided in that. Right. How does he keep us, the enemy keep us divided? By not letting us order up. All you got to submit to him, but we talked about ordering up. You can go back and look at all the shows we yes. talked about. Thank how you, God. Thank that's you. how God. That's how the enemy keeps us divided. How else? Because then he keeps us stretched out. We talked about that. We talked last week or maybe week before about balancing it out. Yes. He keeps us stretched out or spread so thin, which we said earlier, that we're no good to nobody. Not even ourselves. Not our family. Nobody. Because we can't balance it out. That's the trick of the enemy. How else? He, um, by not allowing us to love out loud. We must love out loud. God has commanded that ye love. It's L -O -L. simple. It's love Come in there, oh, you don't have love. Love. God says love. How else? Because we blind each other with it. We blind. We're, we're, we're blind and we're not shining. We're blinding. We're, we're, we're trying to force somebody instead of just living, instead of just being who God has created us to be. We're forcing it. You know, you're forcing it on somebody. And you can't do that. All of these are our show topics that we've talked about yes. since we started airing. And God today. I promise y'all this is not scripted. We yes. don't script it. We don't. I had to write it down because he was giving it to me so fast on the commercial. I'm like, Lord, what is it? And, and, and so I had to start writing and God said, because these shows, guys, we didn't have an like itinerary from the beginning to the end. Yeah. We've gone week to week with whatever God has given us. And God, because he's such an amazing God, yes. an amazing king, he's an amazing everything, he lined it up for us today. Today doing the break so that we could give the message to you that we hadn't just been up here talking, trying to look cute and just want this has truly been about right. a message from God. Yes. It has truly been directly from his mouth to our ears, to our hearts, to to that to this camera, so that you can feel what God is saying to us. So he he, he just he wants us to come together. Yes. God has commanded that we come together. That we come together, and it, it is time. So I, we, we, we're, we're not just we're not just sisters in prayer. We want to strive to be saints, saints in prayer. Yes. and that's everybody. That's man, woman, boy, girl. That's that's the body of Christ coming together so that we are saints in prayer. So we are turning ways. We are seeking the face of God and doing it together. God just that's what we are. That, that's what we are in this whole show. That is our shift. That we need to sisters in prayer. It's not just about being my sister. This is about the saints Thank in prayer, the body yes. of Christ in prayer. Servants uh, in prayer. Servants saints in prayer. Yes. Prayer. Seekers. Seekers in prayer. Oh, prayer. Yes. Everyone is included now. Mm -hmm. Nobody is excluded. Mm -hmm. We are one. Mm -hmm. We are mm -hmm. one. Add some light on that about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, just, I just love it. I love it. I said earlier, I love what God is doing for you. And when I said what I said is because God gave me that scripture, Jeremiah 31, 22, that women he's going to use in the last days, he's going to do a new thing. That's what he said. 
that a woman should encompass a man. So what God is doing right now to bring unity throughout the church world. See, it used to be one church mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. until Ananias and Sapphira got together and got greedy. And when greed came about, then everybody else went abroad. Yeah. So now God is bringing unity back. Guess how he's doing it? Through you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, he's bringing Thank unity you. back abroad together. Thank you, God. And by you airing this show, you're seeing this, that's what he allowed me to write the book about. Mm. That's why I had to come here to you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. He showed me this. Thank He's you, bringing God. unity back into the marriage. Thank you, God. There's a problem in the marriage. There's a problem in the church. Mm -hmm. You have to rise above your enemies. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. If you don't rise above it, then the enemy going to have you. Surely we go again and we fall short. But look, we're here. Guess what? We're together now as we want. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and y'all, we are so trying to wrap this up. <laughs> so trying to wrap this up. But you know what? When, when he was talking about rising above our enemies, rising above your enemies means taking your rightful place. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. That's taking your right. And Bible said, and it's stuck with me so much. It's probably been months and months ago, but Reverend Jamie Wright was telling us that, that the enemy tries to get us out of place. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, now we think that we have to we have to fight, saying, oh, no, -uh, no, 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 no. The battle's already won. Already won. So, yes. instead Amen. of Satan being above us, mm -hmm. you know, our place is with the Father. Because who dwells in us? Right. The Holy Spirit. And who sits on the throne? That's right. It's the Father, right. the Son, and the Spirit. And the Spirit isn't just lurking around. The Spirit lives in us. So we are on the throne with the Father and the Son. And if we are standing where we're supposed to be, if we're walking in line with God, then, then we are already risen above our enemies. And there is nothing that He can do. Because if we keep walking and we keep stomping, we keep walking, we keep stomping them down. So we have already, we are already risen. We are already above, like we just said. We just gotta keep moving. We gotta keep going. Walk Ooh. by faith. I remember earlier yes. when you said this Thank you, God. about the throne. I, I have to say this. Uh, it's in the 19th chapter of St. Matthew. Jesus. And Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, glory to God, mm -hmm. he was speaking to the disciples. Which is which is us yes. today. Yes, we are. And and he said, if you forsaken houses, land, mm -hmm. mother, father, sister, husband, children, and yourself, he was talking about forsaking all these things. Forsaking all of this. Everything. Mm -hmm. Put it aside for his sake. Yeah. Then you shall sit up on a throne, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. And then you shall receive a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. Go back to the seat. Mm -hmm. You shall receive a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. But you have to forsake some things. Move aside and let God do it. Yes. He'll do it. Yes, yes he, he will. will. Mm -hmm. yes, he Thank will. you, God. Yes, we receive that. Mm -hmm. Well, we are saints in prayer. <laughs> sisters in prayer. Seekers. In seekers prayer. in prayer. Servants in prayer. And we're shifting and in prayer. And we are shifting, shifting in prayer. In prayer. We're going to be yes. sold out in prayer. Yes. Sold out. Yes, made we are. Up. Okay? Yeah. Yes, we are. Sick going to mean a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and so we are going to close out in prayer. Amen. And we, we just pray that we know. We know that something said here today is going to touch. You know how we know? Because the Spirit has already said that. Yeah. Yes. He's already, he wouldn't have given it to us if it wasn't for somebody, yes. including us, the people on this panel. Yes. But for us we pray that you receive whatever it is God Glory is. Glory to God. Is, 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 mm -hmm. is, whatever you're feeling while you're watching, receive it. Yes. Receive it. And whatever God is leading you to do moving forward from this point, do it. Do it. Do it without, without fear. Do it without doubt. Do it in knowing that God has directed your path into what you need to do next. Thank you, God. 
don't don't even don't even bat an eye about it. Confess your truth. Do whatever it is God is leading you to do through this this show today. God is doing something big. Yes. If you're ready to be a part of the shift, if you're ready to shift to the next level, we want you to join in this prayer with us. Don't just sit and listen to us to us as we pray. We want you to be praying mm -hmm. to God right. and Father at the same time. Because we do touch and agree with you that whatever it is that you need to be healed from, that you have been broken, that you've been dwelling in because you're broken there, that's keeping you from getting to a shifting place, we, we bind that up right now in the in name the of Jesus. And we lose the ability to be able yes. to move, to do whatever yes. it is God is, is leading you to do. We, we, we lose that right now in the name of Jesus. So when she prays, when we pray this prayer, we ask that you just join in with us. So it'll be a prayer of deliverance yes. and transformation and prayer yes. that, that, that moves and shifts. Thank, Thank you, God. God. And, and before we pray, Jesus. God is leading me to, to say this. If you do not know this God that we are so in love with and who loves us so much and gives us the grace that we are not even worthy of having. Mm -hmm. If you do not know this forgiving, loving, yes, honest Thank you, God, God yeah. that we serve and that we are talking about, we want you to bow your head in prayer yes. with us. And, and after we pray, we want you to read Romans 10.9. And that will lead you and, and, and truly, honestly dedicate your heart to Christ. Your heart. And your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. And you can worship and you can praise and you will understand because you will be transformed. You have taken a shift now in your life. You have taken a turn. Your heart has, has been um, christened with the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, pray with us and, and mean it. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, pray with us. And afterwards, if you don't have a Bible, Google it. Google it. If you have, if you don't have internet, uh, if you don't have a Bible, go by a church in your area. We'll put the scripture up. We'll put the scripture up on the screen. Say it. Confess Romans 10 9 and, and I'm gonna read it with you right now if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead yes. thou shalt be saved yes. for with thine heart with the heart of man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. So confess your sins and believe in your heart that God sent his only son here yes. to this earth in the flesh, just like you are now. Yes. And he died on the cross for us, mm -hmm. for our sins. He was wounded for our transgressions. Mm -hmm. However, his father raised him up from the dead. He has been resurrected just like you and your broken pieces. Can be you, you will be raised up. Mm -hmm. It's only a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. Believe that mm -hmm. in your heart. Believe it in your heart that, that God sent Jesus and Jesus was raised from the dead. And you will be saved. So join us in prayer right now. And if you... And, and if you read the scripture and you and you read it on your own you are saved you are now a child of God well and we celebrate that and it's awesome so let's be silent now and let's let the Holy Spirit move and, and let's join in prayer thank you God Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your presence, Lord. Glory. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Jesus. Mm. Thank you for what you're doing, Lord. Thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for forgiving Glory. us, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for using us, Lord, even when we're broken, Lord. Thank you, God, for letting us be a light still, Lord. Thank you for sending love our way, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. 
mercy. Thank you for seeing us worthy, Lord. Yes. Hey, my soul. Thank you for those that are watching, Lord. <laughs> to those that dedicated their life to you today, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. someone to minister to the Lord. <laughs> Let them not be led astray, Lord. <laughs> Keep them, Lord. Send someone to shepherd over them, Lord. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> For what you've done here today, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the shift in the yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the shift in the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We love you, God. Thank you. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. Hey, my soul. Thank you for the Hallelujah. healing, Lord. Hey, Lord. Thank you for the healing, Lord. Oh, even when we don't feel it, Lord.
to pull you back together again. Oh, the power to want to put you back together again. In case your situation has been turned upside down, and all the you've accomplished is yes. You don't have to stay in the state that you're in. The power wants to put you back together again. Oh, the power wants to put you back together again. You won't go. Yeah.